Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to get rid of the restrictions passcode um, that you may have forgotten on your phone so you won't use up your complete six attempts. I don't know what happens when you use up all six attempts, but I don't want to find out. In this case, you're on your last one. Do not enter any code. Follow these directions and you'll get your code. Now, I'm using an iPhone 6 Plus, um, 16 gig. I'm running uh, iOS 8.2 point something. can't remember exactly, but this should work for iOS 7, 8, and 9. Um, like I said, this is iPhone 6, and I'm going to show you how to get rid of the restrictions passcode that you may have forgotten. Okay, first off, um, you will need the following items. You'll need your iPhone. You're going to need a cable to connect iPhone to a laptop. You're going to need a laptop or a computer. You're going to need a program called iBackup Bot, which is a, this program right here. I've included the link to this program on the description below. Make sure that you do download this before you finish watching the video because you're going to need this program before you can do anything. You're also going to need to go to a web page called ios 7 hdurstonus I did not come up with this web page. I did a Google search and found out that this is a good site to um, use it. So thank you for whoever created this website. Great thanks to you. Alright, um, the link that I included at the bottom is going to take you to CNET's website. And it's going to be the download for iBackup Bot, which is the direct download. You click on it, you download it, you install it, and you run it. You're also going to need iTunes. Um, don't pull up iTunes yet. Just have iTunes ready to be pulled up. First, you have to. First, we're gonna have to open iBackup Bot. Let's click. Bam. iBackup Bot is open. Then we're going to open iTunes, which my already open. We're going to open iTunes. We're going to make sure that our device, our iPhone is connected because we have to back up our iPhone. When you back up your iPhone, you need to back it up to this computer and do not click the check box beside encrypt iPhone backup. We do not want it encrypted. And then you back up now. Once it's backed up, we're going to go back to our backup bot. And up here, we're going to find our iPhone in the backup that we just made. And today is March the 8th, 2016, and this is the backup that I made. All right, we're going to click it. Click the little plus sign beside it, and we're going to double-click on System Files. I'm going to make this bigger. All right, and now we are on the right side, excuse me. And on after we click on System Files... We are going to scroll down. Mine's always at the bottom. I don't know where yours will be at, but we're going to find home domain. H O M E D O M A I N. And we're going to double click. And the only thing that's going to pop up is library. We're going to double click library. Okay, um, once we get to this point, we're going to find preferences, which is. In my case, right here. Once you find it, you're going to double click. Okay, so once we're on this page, we are going to need to find uh, com.apple. Um, I can't remember the name of it. I'll tell you what. Let's do this. Uh, go up in the search box, and we're going to type com, C O M, dot apple, A P P L E, dot R E, and press enter. And we're going to find com.apple.restrictionspassword.plist. We're going to double click. Alright, and this is a um unregistered version of our backup bot for iTunes. And it's not we didn't buy it. It's a trial version, but we're going to um, click OK when the box pop up that says register our, bot, our backup bot for iTunes. We're going to click OK. And it says please enter your register name. We're going to click OK on that. And then we're going to click cancel. Alright, and once we do that, um, we're going to get another dialog box that pops up. And we're going to actually use some of the information off of this dialog box. Now at this point, this is actually when you're going to need to pull up the website the iOS 7 hash.durson.us you're going to need to pull up this website and we're going to enter I'm going to delete this information so I can show you 
how we're going to enter it. But as you see, I've already done it. So what we're going to do is, the dialog box that just popped up, go to line 7 and copy line 7, the whole line, including the equal sign. Alright, and if your um, computer will not allow you to just copy it, all you have to do is click and drag it to your web page. And then put it in the first box that says restrictions, password, key. And put it in that box. Now, we're going to go to the second box that says restrictions, password, salt. And we're going to go back to the dialog box. And we're going to go to line 11. And we are going to copy a line 11. Or drag it if you can't copy it. And, and make sure to also copy the two equal signs as well because all of this is important. If yours has two equal signs, then make sure you copy all of it. The whole line is important, so copy the whole line. So since I can't copy, I'm going to drag it down to my internet and put it into the small box that says restrictions, password, salt. We don't want these spaces behind it, so let's delete that. There we go. Okay, so once we do that, we don't change anything else and actually your starting code is going to be zero 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 this is going to be the default starting code and that's the starting code that you want to start with alright and once that's entered don't mess with anything else we got zero 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 and nine 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 click search for code and now you wait um I don't know how long this will take. It could take up to an hour. Mine took all of maybe 10, 15 minutes or so. Um, if you want to try to make it go faster, then you can open multiple tabs. And, and where it says starting passcode, you can start with 0000. And then you can stop on 2000 if you want. And then in the next tab, you open the same window, enter the same information. But in starting code, you can enter uh, 2001. And then go all the way up to 4,001 or whichever number you want to go with. That way, all the tabs will be running simultaneously. And they will each be running different sets of numbers. And you can actually get your code a bit faster than holding up, just putting up one page like I did. And letting it go from 000 and go all the way through 9,099. Even though your number may not even be that. But it'll go a lot faster if you open multiple tabs. Just remember to enter the information exactly the same. Only thing you enter is your where you want to start it and where you want the last code to stop it. And then on your next tab, you start from one after where you want to stop it and then go up to whichever number you want to. Okay, so I'm not going to talk too long, but this is it. Uh, like I said, I'm going to include the link in the web page for everything that I have for both of the programs. For the um, web page in the program, I'm so sorry. For the web page in the program that I am using, I'm going to include it in the link so you can click on it so you won't have to Google search it. All right, uh, try to make this as short as possible. Um, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Feel free to comment if it works for you. And great if it doesn't, then make sure you leave a comment and uh, say what phone that you have and what system that you have. I may not be able to, you know, go through it because I Google search this, but at least other people will know if it will and won't work on there. So thank you for watching and everyone enjoy. Bye.